Welcome to the Thomas and Cheryl Show. Extravaganza Mag Lanza Show. My voice is gonna, my larynx actually, is gonna hurt throughout this whole video, and I may switch to British uncontrollably. Like that. So, basically, what recently, me and Cheryl's learned about interchangeable parts. You know what those are? Of course you don't, you're an idiot. Um, well, eh, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I am telling you, so. <laughs> interchangeable parts. Nuts, bolts. That's what they are. Basically, because people before had had special filings for everything. You know, nuts and bolts back then were so difficult because everything had a special filing. There was nothing was alike. So basically, Eli Whitney in 1798 decided he had enough and he brought over interchangeable parts which are bolts and nuts that can fit onto each other and different ones. Now that's called actually thinking. Thank God someone did it. Otherwise we would, well, none of this would be here. There's the British. Um. So, basically, he proposed it to the government as a national way to to make muskets because it produced more in half the time. Because rather than having the special filing and professionals being needed to put on the special screws everywhere, they could just, you know, put in a bolt and then... And use the same thing for all of it. I look insane. Well, there's no getting back from this. Okay. So, that's basically it. He invented them, factories used them because they could produce so much more. And, well, that's it. Oh, I'm supposed to turn it off. Okay. Um. Eee! 